Alright, Shalom. This is a horror one, but Yasha Allah. Of the Lions Den Camp. Wanna say Ka Halayim, La Yahweh, Ba Hashim Shai, Ba Hashim, Harakakodash, Ma Ma. Double honor to the elder apostles of GMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Akim and Agwatim and children that believe in sincerity and the truth around the four corners of the earth. Um, I'm on the road, man, so I'll, um, I'll probably pull out probably about one scripture if I can, if, if anything. But um, yeah, man, you got today. I, man, I'm so I be so deep into the word, man. I be forgetting that they got the uh, these people got these damn hol uh, holidays. Uh, one of them called Halloween, man. All right. Now, uh, I think that's today. I just, I've been seeing the signs everywhere. I've been seeing the uh, people dressing up and shit. So I'm thinking that's today. All right. Now, today is a wicked day. You know, I've been feeling this crazy vibration in the air since yesterday, man. I'm talking about the technology, the phone been acting weird, my TV been acting weird, the goddamn uh, computer been acting weird. You know, of course, you say a prayer, uh, you rebuke the devil. But the same, that you know, um, it's just a, it, you can tell, man, when you go out to the streets, if you go to the store, you can see the energy on people is different, man. You know, all right, because it's that just that spirit they in. Now, it speaks of they uh, uh, in the past they had something called what the Day of the Dead, man, to where they try to claim that they're celebrating their dead ancestors. And what they used to do is um, they used to leave food out on the porch in, in, during the times of Rome, the Roman Empire. And they leave food out on the porch. And um, what they'll do is uh, what they call it. Um, uh, they had they, they believe that the dead would come up to the door and eat the food. <laughs> And that's what Halloween was based on, you know. Now, um, so you got our people following after that, and the excuse they try to use is saying it's for the kids. Well, the scriptures clearly say, um, "Train up a child as he should go." You know, we try to get it. All right, this is uh, Proverbs twenty-two and six. It says. Train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it, man. All right? And people don't care about that scripture, man. They say it's for the kids. You know, um, they say, I just look at it as something, a reason to dress up. You could dress up any day. You know, I spoke with somebody earlier, and uh, it was dressed up as Tweedledee and Tweedledum. I'm like, what the, what the hell? And she said, uh, the lady said, the reason they dress up on this day is for their children. And I was like, you can dress up any day, though, for your children. You know, if you're a real parent, you have a little fun. But she was like, no, nah, it's not. A, it's not uh, any other day, those costumes wouldn't be accepted, uh, uh, you know, in society. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't be socially correct to wear those outfits. But you got homosexuals out here and they saying that's socially correct. But anyway, let me get another scripture. All right, this is Proverbs 21 and 16. All right, it says, The man that that wandereth out of the way of understanding, and uh, two-thirds of our people, the, the Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, they shouldn't be taking no part in any of these holidays. You know? And it says what? The man that wandereth you know, and in the wilderness, uh, uh, in this place, America, and around the world, they're wandering. Is that right? It says, the man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall, re shall remain in the congregation of the dead. All right, so those that remain in the congregation of the dead, what's the dead? These heathens and their customs. All right, this is uh, Proverbs 3 and 30. It says, uh, 31, Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. All right? Now, two-thirds of our people have, have uh, are following after their father, the devil. 
They're choosing Esau's ways. All right, America, Europe, so-called white man, the Caucasian race. They're choosing their ways instead of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai uh, way. You know. Now, if you got a job, if you got um, family. There's so many laws in America now, you don't have to celebrate that shit at your job. You don't have to cut your beard anymore at your job. You know, all these certain things, man, because they got so many laws that you can use against them in this place. If you got family that's still celebrating that shit, you need to keep your distance. Because we're too late in the game for anybody to be acting or iffy or riding the fence, straddling the fence. Unsure if they're going to serve you, how about you, how shy? All right. Well, while they unsure, you be unsure about them. How about that? All right. This is Isaiah 30 and one. It says, woe to the rebellious house, man. And that's destruction and danger. It's coming to the rebellious house. Two thirds of our people, man. The children of Israel. You shouldn't be taking no part in that Halloween BS, man. All right. The dead, the dead. Uh, I forgot what else they call it, man. It's a very satanic day. They made a movie uh, uh, off of that shit. I, I can't remember the name of it, man. But, uh, got that hand right on my face. All right, Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious house, re rebellious children, say if Yahweh, that take counsel, but not of me. All right, they go to these churches, they go to, um, their, their job, right? In this world, they go to Esau and they follow after Esau in their ways. In the churches, they keep the Halloween. A lot of these churches in America. But the Lord said, you taking counsel, but not of him. And what's his counsel? The men of the Lord that's out on the street telling you to pull away from that. This is the way. Go ye this way. Search out the ways of old. All right? Uh, so... They're taking counsel, but not of the Lord. They're not reading the scriptures. That's why the scriptures say, blessed is he that readeth, man. All right. Now it says, but not of me and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And that's double for them today. They they cover it with the, uh, the coverings of this world, their idols, right? All their damn idols, idolatry, false gods. And now, even today, they dumbasses is covered with some damn costume that they going to spend money on and go broke just to please the children, a nation of consumers. All right. So every every holiday in America, they're going to dig all in your pockets and they're using the kids against you, man. And you people fall for it. You know, you people fall for it, man. Every damn year, same shit. The Lord don't want your money. You know what I'm saying? These people uh, go to these churches, get a tithe. They go to these um, stores, uh, department stores, and paying for all that damn Halloween sh bullshit and masks. And then on Christmas, they're going to do the same shit. Black Friday, damn, they're killing each other. All this shit is ways um, for these companies and the government to make money off of you. All right? All right, this is the etymology for the word Halloween. And it says the night of October 31st, the eve of All Saints Day. See that? So that's what Halloween usually represents, the eve of All Saints Day. That's what e, that's what uh, the Eve in Halloween means. It means eve. And hollow represents uh, holy. So they're saying a holy evening. <laughs> they calling that holy, huh? It's an All Hallow Eve. Even. All right. So they uh where is this hollow? All right, hollow. It says honor as holy. Make holy consecrate. So now check this out, man. This is what the scriptures say. All right, so they call themselves honoring the dead you know and um and whether you know it or not you put them costumes on taking that candy you taking part in the tradition and the lord said we're not supposed to follow after traditions of men 
And those men are what? These heathen nations, man. All right? And the wicked of our nation. Uh, um, um, 20 years later down the line, they're getting tattoos for the dead, honoring the dead, celebrating traditions for the dead, wearing uh, devil masks over there in Europe and Spain, All Saints Eve and all that shit, man. It's all together. And it's all under the banner of that Caesar Borgia bullshit. Hey, Zeus. All right. This is Sirach 22 and 12. Seven days do men mourn for him that is dead, but for a fool and an ungodly man all the days of his life. So you people mourning for the dead, which is not according to scripture, because he said you're only supposed to mourn seven days and then let him go. All right. Um, now they're not going to come down here to the earth. Um, and get your damn uh, uh, candy or food off your damn step. That's what Esau believed. You know, they, they bugged out like that. They spooked. All right. This is Isaiah 29 and 9. Stay yourselves and wonder. Cry ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. For Yahweh have poured upon the out. Yahweh have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep. And that's what our people are doing. They're walking around dead. They, they're dead upon their feet, you know, before they even get put in the damn ground. And they wearing these goddamn outfits out here, man. That's all vanity for no goddamn reason, man. It means nothing. And to the children, it just causes confusion in them because you're not telling them the truth, man. All right. For Yahweh have poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep and have closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers have he closed, man. First Thessalonians five and one. But of the times and seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. See, two thirds, they're not going to get it. They're not going to understand what season they're in. All right. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. All right. And we're in the night right now where it's darkness and the light is shined um, in darkness through who? Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai um, uh, igniting the minds of the hopeful elect. All right. All around the world. Look at little candle lights all around the goddamn world. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. So he's going to come unexpectedly on these people, man. You know, it'd be beautiful if he, he could show up sometime one of these years while you people got these damn costumes on. But either way, two-thirds of our people are going to be covered with the coverings of these nations, these idols. All right, so they're going to have costumes on anyway. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. All right. So you celebrating these holidays and all this bullshit, you're not going to escape from what the judgment that the Lord got. He's going to give you, he's going to write you your portion with the wicked. He's going to push you to the left. And he's going to write your name in the book of, uh, uh, Death, life and death, all right? And give you a judgment unto death since you want to remain among the dead. Um, But ye, brethren, are not in darkness that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness, all right? So what does light have to do with darkness? That's why we separate from these damn people. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. All right. We're the children of the kingdom, if you believe. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right. The hopeful elect. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Right. We just sent the shot to shine in the night. All right. You can light a tiny match in the darkest room and it appears through that darkness, man. Or light the path or the way for somebody's eyes that can't see. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. All right. Being sober, being an alert, not drunken with the philosophies of this world. All right. Not drunken off this damn, um, 
these damn holidays. All right, and entertainment. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. They that be drunken are drunk in the night, right? Scripture said they're drunken but not with wine. They stagger but not with strong drink. And they sleep. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. That's what you're supposed to cover yourself with. Let that be your costume. You see that? Because the Lord is not... Um, um, of darkness, he's of the light. All right. It says, For Yahweh have not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai. This is John 1 and 4. In him was life. It's talking about Yahweh Shai. All right. So in this truth, you have life. But in this world, you're going to have, you're dealing with death, man. And the life was the light of men. All right. So, um, that's how you know who the elect are by the light that they bear. Is it a light of darkness or is it a light, um, true light, all right, righteousness? And the light shineth in darkness. You see that? And the darkness comprehendeth, comprehended it not, man. So even today, the dark, the uh, the darkness, the ones that are in the dark sleep, they can't comprehend it. All right, they don't have ears to hear, eyes to see. They're dead. They're spiritually dead, blinded. This is Isaiah 8 and 19. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits, man, demons. All right. And that's what they're dealing with today, man. They're going into these damn um, scare houses or horror houses. You know, witchcraft, magic and all this crazy shit. Black magic. Playing around with Ouija boards and all kind of shit um, on this day, man. This is a wicked ass fucking place. In a wicked ass day, man. All right. And when they shall say unto you, seek unto them that have familiar spirits and unto wizards that peep and that mutter, should not a people seek unto their God? All right. So you're supposed to be seeking. If, if, you're supposed to be seeking at the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. Not saying that you are and then wearing these damn outfits out here. Not saying that you serve the Lord or got the Bible in your hand. But then on Halloween, you're like, I'm going to do it for the children. See that the children don't want that. The children want whatever you put in front of them. That's why he said, train up a child as they should go and they shall not depart from it, man. It's the Lord know his creation. It's just you people you're so goddamn wicked. Just like our parents was wicked and they put that in front of our face. You know, I was little as hell. They had me bobbing for goddamn apples on this day. You know what I mean? I thought it was great. But then when I got older, I'm like, what the hell is, what the hell is this shit? And they were putting needles and spit and all that kind of shit in the candies. And I was like, something ain't right. <laughs> this ain't right. I was young thinking that. And I was like, why are everybody wearing these scary masks? What is this, man? It just felt like some hillbilly stuff, man. Bobbing for apples and shit like that. It was just weird. Scarecrows and stuff. I was like, ain't that for the farm? So I, it was just bugging me out when I was little. And I get older, I, I find out that it's um, All Saints Day, the day, of the, the day of the Dead, where they celebrate the dead, man. All right? And um, and they believe that uh, uh, demons or spirits would come uh, be on the earth. All right? What the scriptures clearly say, all spirits return unto the Father, and they can't come again back to this earth. All right, the Lord is saying apparitions, but not that spirit. You see that? The spirits ain't coming down here eating no damn food anyway. What do they need the food for? People are crazy, man. These people are goddamn crazy, man. All right. Verse 20, it says, To the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them, man. All right. So they these people have no light in them. And the people that are speaking, um, uh, Contrary to the scriptures, you know, it's all just for the kids. No, yeah, there's no light in that person, man. All right. And they got darkness in them. This is Titus 1, um, 13. It says, this witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply. And that's what this is, man. Rebuking our people, you know, so they can change what it says that they may be sound in the faith. All right. 
So we rebuke him with what? Just off your feelings, just your emotions, with threats? No. You rebuke somebody with the scriptures and you do it righteously. All right? And through, edi um, through edification. And it says that they may be sound in the faith, man. And that, you know, keeping the sheep on the path. All right? The, the sheep hear his voice. So if you're speaking his voice, uh, reproving and re rebuking with all exhortation from the scriptures, then that'll keep them sheep uh, organic until the end. All right. They won't die and be stale. They'll be organic and following the shepherd through us speaking. All right. The shepherd is Yahweh Shai. This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply that they may be sound in the faith, not giving heed to Jewish fables was that fiction. So the Jews, meaning who? The Israelites. Two-thirds of our people that come up with what? Fiction. That follow after Esau's fiction. That come up with their own beliefs. Right? And their own lies. Their own doctrine. And commandments of men that turn from the truth. So people that's not in the truth and in the world or they was in the truth and they back in the world keeping these holidays. Telling people it's cool, or it's for the kids. You know, it's crazy, man. It says what? Unto the pure, all things are pure. But unto them that are defiled and unbelieving is nothing pure. But even their mind and conscience is defiled, man. They profess that they know Yahweh. Or they, they claim to be spiritual. I know God. God loved me. Uh, Jesus and all that mess, man. Picking up the Bible, got it on their dashboard while they riding around the streets in their damn costume, taking their children to go trick or treat, playing, act, playing, playing the part of the dead. Who's the dead in the situation? If they said the dead come up to their door and knock, who the fuck is the dead then? That would mean these people are the dead. They represent that. Damn idiots, man. They profess that they know Yahweh, but in works, they deny him. So in their works, they deny the Lord. All right. Being abominable and disobedient and unto every good work, they become reprobate, man. All right. Now, what's reprobate? Reprobate is what? They become, in all things, they become what? Rejected. They become unapproved, worthless, man. Morally or literally. Not standing the test. Whoo, not standing the test. This is all a test, man. Not approved, properly used of metals and coins. They become reprobate silver. That that which does not prove itself such as it ought, unfit for. So, you know, if you was in this truth and you look back into the world, you keeping these uh, wicked ass days, what they call their holy days or holidays, like Halloween, then what? It says you're unfit for the kingdom. Unapproved. Unproved. They ain't proven nothing. Spur spurious, meaning hurtful, wicked. All right, thorny. And reprobate, man. So that's what they become when they celebrate this Halloween bullshit.